Ringwalk Danny Boxing Boys.com here with lightweight contender Jermaine Ortiz. Just got done watching Haney Loma. Obviously, you've shared the ring with Loma. Just want your thoughts, champ. Uh, truth be told, I thought Lomachenko won the fight. Mm. Yeah. How'd you score it? 7 5. What do you think uh, it was that Loma did it well and that uh, Devin liked? Well, it was off for the first round. He let Loma get his right foot behind his left foot and started letting him get warmed up on getting them angles, getting them angles. And Lomachenko was just warming up. He wasn't really just angle and attacking right away. He was just, all right, let me get position. Let me get position. Let me see. And he let it happen way too early. And uh, I heard Bill talk about in the later rounds, keep catching him with the right hand, keep throwing the right hand. But he wasn't stopping him getting from Lomachenko getting his best angle, which is obviously getting to the side. And for me, that's my left hook, and then you could throw the right hand. But, uh, that's, it, how, that's how I see it. It seems like the majority of the people that uh, gave the fight to Devin credited um, the inside work, uh, the work to the body. Yeah, he, did, he did do a lot of great body work that every single time he threw a body shot, like, ooh, 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 you know? Um, I guess that has to go to Compu, CompuBox and see who was landing more shots because mm. you can't discredit body shots. And I do think that body shots did play a role until later where Lomachenko did slow down maybe for a couple rounds. But Lomachenko showed that he's resilient because even though with them body shots, he was still able, for me, the last round, the last round was slow. The 11th round, he still came on strong. Um, what do you think Devin does from here? Do you think he stays at 35 or do you think he moves out to 40? I think, you know, Devin, his team, I think they know how to move the pieces the right way. And he's going to do whatever fits um, his career the best, you know? Now, I got to ask because you was uh, not just a former opponent of Lomachenko, but you was able to share a training camp with Lomachenko. How much of that do you think helped you in the actual fight? Now hindsight, looking back on it. Not much, to be honest, because mm. Lomachenko's a guy I've been studying since I was probably still an amateur. I've just, I'm not really a guy that studies fighters much or watches a lot of film on my opponents, but I've watched so much of Lomachenko that it was kind of just like, I knew what he was going to do. I've kind of imitated some of the moves that he was doing in the past. And for me, I just knew it was going to be very fluid fight for me. And as you can see in our fight, he was never able to get behind me, but I actually got, I got behind him. I never let him get them angles on me. So for me, camp didn't really do much. It just kind of solidified what I knew I was already going to do when I fought him. Jermaine O'Tree's appreciate the time. Chat, can't wait to see you back in the ring. Thank you, man. Appreciate Family, it. don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.